Alright, hey guys, Abomination9 here, back playing some more Xenobl uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now, with the last video I uploaded, which I haven't uploaded yet because YouTube's, um, I don't know, something's wrong with their uploading system because it wouldn't let me upload. So, it's gonna be a while before I upload any, uh, any videos, but, uh, there's more than just that. Because in the last video, uh, the end of the video got messed up. Which I think I'm going to try to uh, just do this in one whole solid video, which I, I know I didn't want to do, but I'm just going to do it in one whole solid, like 50, 40, 50 minute video. Because um, desync I can handle, uh, can take care of in editing, uh, but things getting messed up because I'm cutting it is unacceptable, so whatever. And, uh,. There was a video between this video and the last video that I because one, I think it was glitching. The entire video was all glitchy, and two, the there was no audio. There's no game audio, and my mic wasn't recorded for some reason. So hopefully it is now. I mean, the thing says it's recording, but that doesn't mean I it's actually recording. I don't know. Elgato is like really bad. Like I don't suggest getting one. I've had one for years. Yeah, but. I'm sorry, Elgato, I can't uh, recommend you to anybody when you screw up almost every single time. And it's not like my computer isn't doesn't meet the requirements. It surpasses the requirements, so there's nothing I can do about that. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk to what I did in the last video. I can't obviously show you what I did in the last video. I'm going to go back to where I was in the last video uh, and then show you where... I, and just show you that, though, from here on out, I'm going to be fast forwarding. So I probably um, added this to the video because I said I was going to like fast forward all the way through but since I accidentally got into a fight with this uh, Grex here, I might as well just leave it in, right? Alright, back to fast forwarding. I think this is the goodest place of any to stop forwarding. Stop fast forwarding because uh, you can see that we got a couple giant things here, which I thought you might want to see while I pass them by while we're swimming here. Also, there's a data thing over there, that a data probe thing that I can't uh, do right now because I'm not a high enough level. So I'm swimming to right there. So. In the middle of this, well, at the end of this lake, there's a cave that I went to to finish a mission, which was just kill, like, six enemies. Which were just, they're just like these little bugs, so. I'm just coming back over here so you can see where I was. Uh, what the? There was a person here, by the way. When I came here yesterday, or not yesterday, but earlier today in that video, there was a person right here. And they're not here anymore, so that's weird. So yeah, not too much going on in this, uh, this cave. It's like, you can go to the left or you can go to the right here and then not too much happens. Because this is pretty much just a dead end, I think, anyways. Because there's no way for me to get up there unless I had, like, 
a doll or skill, doll slash skill or whatever. So until I have one of those, I can't really go through that path. And there's a bunch of those electric guys down there. And if we go this way, we just have like a dead end, I think. So you have this dead ends here with these like weird spider things and this uh, like half a doll right there. So yeah, I'll probably uh, just skip to me being back in LA because that's what I was going to do. I was going to go back to LA and try to find another quest to do. So um, when I get to the front of the building here, uh, the front of the building, the front of the cave, I'll cut to me being back in LA. Though we'll probably take like one more look at the Eternals out front, because I mean, obviously everyone wants to check out the Eternals. So we just get like a nice shot of these guys. Zoom out a little bit. And then uh, we will be cutting back to LA. so we're back to LA so we're gonna go in and get a quest off the board in the administration district which is what I did in the video that you didn't see was me uh, getting a I think it was in the last episode unless I got it in the prior one no I think I got it in the one I actually did upload it's just I did it in the episode that I'm unable to upload oh. So it's going to take us forever to get to the freaking board from here. Okay, I think this takes us to the commercial district. Yeah, this road here. I really wish I had a car. So I could mitigate some of this. I guess, like, whoa, nobody really wants to see me walking through the town every single time. I mean, I kind of like wasting time um, walking around doing nothing or getting from point A to point B, I guess, because it kind of adds padding, I guess, to the game, is what you would call, call it. Which, what I mean by padding is extending the game's length artificially. So I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just, like, constantly being forced to walk, I guess. Oh no, I almost fell. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm noticing that every time the minimap, or yeah, the minimap on the bottom gamepad changes, the game hangs for like a fraction of a second. I don't know if y'all have noticed, if y'all saw that or not. It's done that twice so far while I was walking over here. I gotta figure out where I need to go. Okay, this way and to the right, maybe? Oh, I don't- actually, I don't think it's to the right, is it? It might be to the straight, it's straight, because the barracks are to the- like, right there. Also, I need to- I can't. Like, how do I get back online? That's what I want to know. Am I just permanently offline until I log back on or something? Or until I log off and log back on? Okay, so do we got uh, a Marinian request. Rapid research. I want to kill something, obviously. So, conduct further research for uh, 
reproductive patterns of the local wildlife, please bring us some ZZ Rabbids for research. Uh, arm testers wanted. A new taste sensation. What is this one? Elusive Orwood? No. Forte the Delectable? A rampaging tyrant, ooh, is causing serious harm. Oh, man, it really, it's lame that I have to use it, this TV so far away from me. Harm to blades in the field. We ask you your assistance to Torte, or however you want to pronounce his name, or is that, is that, is that Torlua? I, I'm sorry, it, the TV's just too far away and the words get so scrunched. That I can't, but I the next word is delectable. So let, let's do that one. And I guess we could add the skill repair balance. What is this? We need you to bring us some broken, broken whatever for use in repairing skills. It looks like it says pincers, but again, it, this my TV is too far away from me. Oh, here's another tyrant. Let's add that one. You need the ambush. Here's another ty another tyrant. Let's go for it. Oh, that was the end. So let's clear through a couple of those first. I need to figure out how to get back online once I've been kicked offline. Do I have to like actually just quit the game and then come back or what? Because I don't know what keeps kicking me off. So we need to go, actually let me select one, so we're starting off with him since he was the first one we chose, and he's to the east, yeah this is the east gate I believe. actually not too far away. It looks like he's only a couple hexagons away. It better not be that like that giant ape-like creature because obviously I can't fight that. It's like double 81. We have no choice. Crud, you spotted me. That's some big damage. You better not be calling for backup. Upper hand. I need healing. I should heal up first. Take it down. Weaken him and lay in. I wonder if I have. I haven't looked at my stuff in a while. I probably have like better stuff to wear. Straight on ahead, whatever this creature is. That 
one? Yeah, that's what I figured. We've seen him before. So this may not be that hard. Depends on how strong he is, but just uh, just in case, I'm gonna boost myself and uh, aggro. He just has a lot of health. It looks like. Oh, okay, so that's how you issue orders. I didn't mean to say that, but whatever. Okay, so this actually is gonna be a, uh, a decent fight. Oh, emergency escape? I didn't even know that was an option. That guy we don't want to mess with, so maybe we want to pull him a little bit further out from the shore. It looks like we're gonna easily win this fight. Move in and do some damage. We should probably do the other two while we're out here. So melee attack up two, whatever that is, and some money, and that's pretty much it. I never imagined this is where life was going to take me. Four Fox B, broken pincer, and pristine pincer. And they both got affinity. So, who's next? Schneider? Schneider? I don't know actually. It's pointing in the. So. Where is it? I can't. I actually have no clue. Is that not even in this area? I don't see it on this on the map. Or I don't see it in Primordia. It's not. It's in Noctulum. I have to go to a ch completely different area for this. Well, I mean, there you go. We're going to get into a new area, I guess. I didn't really want to go there already, but... It's already making us go there. So this is going to be a long walk. Because not only is it going to take forever to get there from, the, uh, from that side of the map, but we're on the opposite side already. So, like, we went farther away from that area. Coming to fight, uh... Tor Lue or whatever. Is it Tor Lue or Lue? I don't know. I'm not going to try to pronounce it anymore because, like, one, I don't even know how it's spelled because I, I wasn't able to see it. It didn't have to be like. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, I did it too fast. So I was expecting it coming into the fight. He got beat up pretty badly. Like, he's almost dead. And we just started fighting. It's his own fault for jumping us. We got him. Let's move. Got a lot of stuff for that, though. Huh. 
I might as well cut through. Yeah, I might as well cut through LA. So I think from here on, I'm going to fast forward the video until I get not necessarily in Noctulum, but close enough to it that it's okay. So pretty much back to where we started at the beginning of the video. by the giant guys and um i don't really know how to get there i'm gonna hope that i can just swim around this mass to get to the next one though uh how long i'm gonna be swimming is pretty long i think because it seems i'm all the way at the bottom side of this uh, this primordia i think and I would have to assume that that rock mass in front of me is still Primordia and no Noctulum or whatever it's called is on the other side of that. And it kind of honestly just looks like it's getting farther and farther away. Like I'm not really making any progress. over there you see that that's like out in the middle of nowhere I might have to remember that there's something out there in the middle of nowhere yeah on because that's not actually on the overworld map like the the huge map map that landmass you, you see that right those couple of rocks out there that's not on the map I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere doing this. I'm assuming I was supposed to go inside rather than outside. So trying to swim around this area probably isn't a smart idea. So seeing as though I don't think, I think this is going to take a while. Nonetheless, I'm probably going to fast forward again until I somehow make my way around this landmass this like all these rocks here so yeah see you then So yeah, guys, I'm finally actually physically on a part of Noctulum, and uh, pro tip, do not swim here. I'm pretty sure it's been a good 10-15 minutes of me being in that freaking water, swimming over here. The video is at like 46 minutes, though obviously after all of the- I did like, what, a, a two fast forwards and a skip at this point, so it's gonna be nowhere near that for y'all, but I'm pretty sure I was just swimming for like 15 minutes. And I have no clue how to get to where I need to go. Because uh, I'm still not even near where I need to be. 
Maybe if I come in here, and then maybe I can go through here and go left, because I need to go left still. Hopefully I don't get jumped, that's suspicious. Okay, we got some level 14s that aren't that aren't hostile. See, I need to get up. So I need to get up there. I don't think going this way is going to get me there. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm not sure. Those look suspicious as well. Yep. I knew before they even got even got jumped that that was an enemy. Seriously, not touch this guy at all. He's got it in. So if I jump back into the water, is there a way to get even higher? There's some stuff over there. A lot of stuff over there. That's it's not friendly. Yeah, I don't know. Because I you see there there's like those vines there in the water. I don't know if I can climb up those. I mean, we're here in Noctulum anyways. We might as well explore, right? Let's zoom this way out so I don't get freaking jumped by Loctis Monster or something out of nowhere. We're still looking for those parts for that guy's car. I still haven't found them, I don't think. Noxious. That guy is bad as well. Or at least he has aggro range. But everything on that shore has aggro range and is really strong. Like something I don't want to mess with since we're only like level 10. Uh, 11. We're all level 11. We're surrounded by level 40. So we're going to try to get up on that branch there. And hopefully get to a higher elevation from that. Oh, come on. Seriously, another one? Right where I need to go? Oh, they're all over the place. Alright, I noticed that the video started glitching out, so I actually just um, cut it there. So you might have missed like a second or two of recording, but not really that big of a deal. Uh, I was I had high hopes high hopes for Elgato, seeing as though I had been recording for like 50 something minutes straight and it was fine, but nope, it decided to glitch out on me again. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just need a new capture card or something because Elgato clearly isn't okay. But yeah, we're on the branch now. Hopefully we can actually make some kind of leeway now. Hopefully not fa not fall off. Okay, so we could take this one back down to them, but I don't obviously don't want to do that. We need to get higher. That's what we need to do. Okay, so we have some. Oh, crud. We have some level 30 ones here that are going to aggro. Oh, this is not okay. I, I need to get in there. Maybe I should just give up. Or try to go the normal way. I 
can't let that thing see us. Or sense us, I think, because I think it can sense us. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take a branch that's over. Which way is it? That way? A branch that's over that way and hope that it curves around to where I need it to go. But to do that, I have to get through these guys first. Okay, so we made it to here. We cannot allow these guys to see us. And of course, it starts raining. Of course. I need to go that way. Good, good, good. Okay, so, I mean, their things don't work on vision cones, so... If I go in front of their eyes, it doesn't matter. I need to... Say, like, oh, an aura away from them. Like, a circle around their body. I need to stay away from that. Those look like enemies. Those little plants on the ground, so I need to avoid those. So, there's a branch... Uh, in front of us, somewhere right here that I need to take. Okay, let's zoom way all the way out and look down so we can see where we need to walk. I think I need to come this way as soon as he decides to do that so I can have a look. Yeah, there's a branch there. That's not the one I want, though. I think I need to go through here. And of course, there's a mob coming this way, guarding it. Can you, can you not come over here? Stop coming over here. He's still coming this way. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't just keep walking. And he has eyesight. He's going to force me to jump off the cliff. It took me so long to get up here in the first place. Is he eating something? Can you not? Is he leaving? He looks like he's leaving. Again, he works off of eyesight, so I just need to stay out of his vision code. Which probably isn't going to happen. I don't know why I'm like treading all this dangerous territory just to get to this one enemy that probably I shouldn't even be fighting since I'm having to do all this like sneaking around. Okay, this is the path that I wanted to take. So I have to find a place on this bridge that he won't see me. What is he doing? The plants can sense us. Oh no, there's a bunch of them. How am I supposed to deal with this? Hopefully I can just... I don't know which way he turned when he left last time. Don't turn this... Okay, he turned the other way. Okay, good. So I avoided his vision cone, at least. Okay, he's running now. Uh, I need to make a right, so... One of those guys' vision cone. Okay, I think I can... 
to go around them. I don't think they'll be able to see me. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This guy can sense us. Come on now, what the heck? That's not fair. I did all this just to run into an enemy that I can't avoid? Is he gonna go away? Well, he's spinning around. I'm going to try to hug the wall and hope. Okay, hugging the wall worked for now, but there's another one. I don't know what's on the top side of this cliff. More of these monkeys. I probably should not be killing whatever I'm coming to kill. If I can't fight anything here, I shouldn't be here. I can hear one up to on top of that cliff munching down. Oh, come on. Get up there, the monkey's coming. Okay, there's a bridge over here somewhere that needs to be crossed. I need to stay away from these, whatever the heck I'm looking at now. So where's this bridge at? Is it just here? I guess this is not a bridge. This was an entire lake of water. But there's the waterfall. Uh, I need to get over there. Okay, he isn't coming this way. So... A little bit further. I'm worried about jumping down again and washed away. <laughs> like Jesus H. Christ, the trouble that this mob's put me through. And I'm probably not even going to be able to fight him. He's going to be like level 50 or something. Even though he was on the mission board for me to do. It says he's right in front of me somewhere. Well, okay, so I can't fall off. There is a current here. So it looks like I've already passed this mob up or something. I don't know. I can't tell where I'm at now. Well, the current's really strong right here. I can barely fight it. Okay, we, I've gotten out of it. Okay, so I need to get around. These stupid, like, flying flowers don't catch me. Okay, cool. I was able to get on top of this. Okay, so he's, is he actually down? Or is he right there oh he's right there okay he's a level 10 I I okay I traveled across the world to get to this guy and he is actually a beatable level but I had to like sneak past so many hostile enemies that are like four times my level it's like this was so ridiculous and i might not even be able to get to him if i don't hit this just right because i need to actually get up there and then fall down i don't think i can even get to him from right here because i'll just end up falling down the waterfall and then have to do this all over again so i have to make sure i get this right the first time or try to see if i can hit him from here no, I don't think I can. That's as far as I'm willing to get. Uh, as that's as far as I'm willing to go to get close to him. So I'm gonna have to tr figure out how to get onto that other landmass. 
I don't have a skill. I don't. I don't think they would have me freaking get in a skill just to fight this guy. And there's no way for me to get up on that. Because I can't jump here. There's nothing to grab onto. Is there something over here? Okay, so that's a no. There's no way for me to get up from here to over there. So what the heck did they expect me to do? Did they seriously expect me to fly over here in a skull? This is like a two-star mission to find a level 10 enemy. And they expect me to fly? Okay, so if I let the tur the current take me right here and just like kind of fight against it. Okay, so yeah, I was able to get onto this. I think even if I made like a leap of faith, there's no way I'd be able to get get up on that. Like, can I like clip onto there? I have no clue. Maybe right there? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's like a point of no return when touching these uh, things. Or no, don't. I'm pretty sure I can't like get too close to the waterfall or I'm gonna fall down. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I want a point where I can't actually get back from. So yeah, I, I just had to let it take me. So there's no way for me to get up there to that stupid enemy other than flying, I presume. I mean, how else am I supposed to get there? So this entire trip was a waste. Because there's absolutely no way for me to get to him without flying up to him. Unless he decides to be on a different area at uh, in the morning. Jesus Christ, look how big that is to uh, tonight. There's some stuff down here at least. I was like, what the heck is that thing wiggling? Uh, so, I don't know how to um, fast travel. Yeah, let's save anyways, because I mean, I'm over here. I spent a lot of time coming over here, I might as well save. I'm looking at my uh, gamepad to see if I can figure out how to fast track. What is that? 
Oh, okay. I have to find a place that has a icon on it, like a little orange icon, which nothing over here has one. So I can go all the way back to the beginning if I. That's all I can really do here. Oh, man, came all the way out here just to freaking get screwed over like this. Well, I mean, at least we had an adventure getting here. I knew I shouldn't have come over here. Come over here yet. Uh, so who else was on the list? Yune the Ambusher. And where was this person? This person better not also be in... Noxulum. They're not. They're in freak. Are you kidding me? They're in, uh, Silvalum? So yeah, the next guy is in another area, so I can't even fight him. I gotta pay attention to where these quests are. Okay, so we're going back to freaking, uh, Primordia, and then I'm gonna end the video. Uh, apparently we can't fast travel to LA itself. We can try fast travel outside. We can go to the west gate. So yeah, guys, um, I'm sorry for that letdown, but at least we got to check out Noctulum. A little bit of it. We kind of didn't really check out much of it. Uh, but at least it was a, uh, a freaking trip, I guess. It took me forever to get there, and I wasn't even able to accomplish my goal because of stupid things sitting on a cliff that I can't get to without freaking flying. So whatever. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in to the next episode. Like, share, comment. You have to do. See ya.